Hello everyone, this is Mr. Drizzle, and we're going to continue our refined mod series, and we're going to focus on Denorium and Enrich Thorium. We're going to break it up into a few parts, so it's easier for you. In the first part, we're going to focus on finding Denanium, Thorium, and Uranium. This is considered to be a resource well, and this is going to look different than traditional nodes. Let me show you. Here I have my priority power switch. It is connected to every single one of these radar towers. We're going to use it to find resource wells. Let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and turn on priority group number one, which will spam my <laughs> it will spam my entire map here so what we're looking for is this little icon right here i'm gonna go and blow it up so you can see what it looks like now this is actually supposed to be white but for some reason it's showing as yellow not entirely sure why and if we look around the map there's only a small handful of these okay so as I look around the map, I am looking for this node right here. Here's another one over here. Here's another one right here. This is in the desert. So it looks like there's only going to be about three maybe four i feel like there's another one that i'm missing i don't think there's any more than four but for this tutorial we're going to be focusing on this resource well right here and the reason i picked this location compared to all the other locations not too far away is uranium and in the south east part we have sulfur which we need lots of for part two we're going to go ahead and capture the damium resource wells and the sulfur and uranium nodes let's get right to it we are going to need to pressurize this resource well in order to extract it so this is a resource well pressurizer and it will go ahead and pressurize the well so that we can capture the liquid that comes out of here. This thing uses... How much power does this bad boy use? This resource well pressurizes uses... <laughs> This resource well pressurizer uses exactly 150 megawatts of power. Excellent, so we're gonna go ahead and pressurize that. And then we're gonna go ahead and capture all this fluid. We're gonna go ahead and put it in some tanks just so that uh, we have some storage. This is the resource well extractor. This is where all that pressurized liquid will be extracted from. All right, we have finished capturing the liquid. It is now going to be pumped into this glass buffer. Let's go ahead and quickly find the sulfur and bring it across. We're gonna go ahead and use a transporter to teleport the 
items across the map, otherwise it's going to take a really long time to go ahead and move everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Fantastic. We have sulfur that's going to be transported once we're ready to transport it. We're going to do the same exact thing for the, um, for the uranium. If I can remember where it is. There it is, found the uranium, and, ooh, look at that. We also found the thorium as well, so that's fantastic. This is gonna work really great. And then we'll go ahead and transport those as well. And if you watched my previous video on settings, you know that we can use this underground to power. We go to mod save game settings, power buildings, and we're looking for, this is number three, ignore object detection, and it's checked, which is the only reason why this works underground. Fantastic. Excellent. We have all the stuff needed for right now to create thorium ingots. So this is very exciting. Part three, making concentrated dinium. Concentrated dinium requires sulfuric acid and dinium. Let's go ahead and create our sulfuric acid. We need sulfur and water. We have our water right here. Let's go ahead and teleport our sulfur across the map. And in order to select sulfur, we just select sulfur, click save, and it will automatically make those changes. And then we can go ahead and start teleporting. Look at that, I love this mod. Let's go ahead and create the concentrated dinium. We're going to need to use that sulfuric acid that we just created and combine it with the dinium, which we're pumping out of the ground. So this is the dinium that I showed you as we're pumping it out of the ground. Here's that sulfuric acid, and we're just going to go ahead and combine the two. We went ahead and selected concentrated dinium. And it is now mixing. Let's go ahead and store that. And now we're creating the concentrated dinamium. Part four, making enriched thorium. We need thorium and uranium, which we already have captured the nodes. I'm gonna use this teleporter here to teleport both items to this location. Uranium. And thorium. A 
Let the radiation commence. Thorium, uranium, and rich thorium. Alright, we're going to go ahead and speed this up. Because I don't feel like waiting forever. Fantastic. Part 5, making denorium. In order to make denorium, we take our concentrated denium, combine it with enriched thorium to create denorium. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you.